After an already rickety launch, Solo, a Star Wars story took a nosedive at the box office in its second week in theaters, earning just $29.3 million domestically. The 66% drop-off is a poor omen for coming Star Wars films and an additional sign that the film might have been rolled out too quickly after Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Solo still took number one at the box office in a quiet week, and now has amassed $264.2 million globally, according to Comscore, which compiles box office data. But Disney and Lucasfilm still have a huge hill to climb to reach the $400 million price tag of making and marketing the movie worldwide. Ticket sales for Solo pale next to those of the last three Star Wars films. For comparison, Rogue One, another standalone installment, made $96 million in its second week in 2016. The results may make Disney reconsider its ambitious Star Wars rollout strategy over the next few years, with at least nine more films in the works. Solo came out just five months after The Last Jedi, whereas previous installments had always arrived with at least a year's worth of space. The film also continues an underwhelming string of box office performances for the director Ron Howard. This is his fifth domestic flop in a row, following In the Heart of the Sea, Rush, The Dilemma and Inferno. But Mr. Howard was brought on just a year ago to salvage the project after Philip Lord and Christopher Miller, the directors behind the Lego movie, were ousted, Solo was roiled in turmoil for much of its production. In contrast, Two Marvel movies in theaters are doing just fine. Deadpool 2 took in $23.30 in its third week and is approaching $600 million worldwide. Avengers, Infinity War picked up another $10.4 million in its sixth week and is flirting with $2 billion globally. Adrift STX's drama starring Shailene Woodley and Sam Claflin as seafarers fighting to survive a deadly hurricane, made $11.5 million in its first weekend. It reportedly cost $35 million to make. And the Johnny Knoxville starring Action Point bombed with $2.3 million, all but signaling the end of audience interest in films derived from Jackass and its cast of characters. RBG, a documentary about Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg of the Supreme Court, picked up another $1.1 million in 432 locations, pushing it to $7.9 million total. It is now the highest grossing movie ever from Magnolia Pictures, which focuses on documentaries and foreign films.